Hi, this is Anja here from gardeningforclimate.com. Today I want to show you how we inoculate our biochar and um, how we set up this process. So let's get started. So when the biochar comes out of the fire, it basically looks like this, pretty much like charcoal. And of course it's been through the fire, so it's absolutely dead. There is no life in it and not much in nutrients either. So if you put this into your vegetable beds, you probably wouldn't have much growth because what this does is it, it literally absorbs all the nutrients. So what we have to do to make it do its magic and make it really into biochar is we have to inoculate it. That means we're charging it with life, with microorganisms and with nutrients. So here is in this bucket, there is some biochar that we made yesterday. And um, I've added powdered seaweed, rock dust, molasses and water to it and mixed it well. So it's what this does, it infuses the biochar with all the nutrients and also the molasses is literally food for microorganisms. So we're going to encourage them to populate the biochar, like the, the little cells and the nukes and crannies that are in the biochar, the huge surface area. We have to fill this and charge this with life and nutrients. So it will sit in this bucket here for maybe a week and then we'll move it on into the next container, which is this one here. It's an old kiddie pool with a hole in it. And um, we have here we have um, horse manure, um, kitchen scraps, um, some chicken manure from, the, from our chicken coops, and we've mixed the biochar into this. Now this will sit here for several months. We're going to turn it every now and again. And um, this will help to break down the oils that are in the biochar and it will be fully charged at the end of the process. So you see over there is another container and several other buckets where I have more of that compost mixture with the biochar. And here is a bucket where this process is finished and it's ready to go into the garden. It's been probably four to five months and it's also been during the winter, so the temperatures were a bit colder. So the process is slower, but this is ready now. We can put that into vegetable beds or into potting soil mix and use it for the garden. So there you have it. This is how we inoculate our biochar. Let me know how you do this process in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.